Hello, it's me, yes. Right, before I get to the merch, I just want to show off the fact that I have a brand new shelf. Yes, I said that the next time I do a merch video, I hope I'll have a brand new shelf, and here it is. Yes, I've moved a bunch of stuff over uh, from uh, this little shelf now. It's a little bit more, less cluttered, and I've got a whole brand new shelf that I've already mostly filled. There's still plenty of space. I, can, I always move the t-shirts and stuff, and there's plenty of space here. I can move all these up a little bit. And there's some space there. All these things can be, everything can be rearranged and everything can be made more spacious. And obviously one day I plan to fill this with another shelf like that and move this one here to move the bookshelf to another spot in the room. There's still a lot of options I've got. So yes, just like I said, I have a new shelf. So let's get to the merch. Hey, hey, it's time for new merch. And first, yes, this is a new hat. It's the winter months now and it's getting colder so I thought for the rest of the winter I will have this bobble hat on instead of the cap. Fear not though, the cap will, will return in the springtime. So, let's get to the merch. Yes, I have four, four items. You probably already see some of them just off the side there. I have four items to show off today. Three figures and an accessory. So, I'm going to start with the accessory so that I can wear it throughout the episode. Okay, here it is. It is. A shield and sort of watch thing. You know, I really should always check, uh, snap it and wear it hero set. That's that's what it is. I never check what the names of these things are when I buy them. I just buy them. Now, I thought when I saw this on Amazon, this was another dreaded Rubies product. But it is not. It is just simply a Mattel product, as you can see there. So, yes, I don't like the Rubies products. They are just terrible. So this is a sort of play shield that you can just wear for a little girl so you can wear it like that or you can snap it to your t-shirt apparently yes, it says snaps on to t-shirt so let's get it out and uh try it on i don't i'm not wearing a t-shirt obviously because i think it's made for a v-neck as you can see that girl's wearing a v-neck and even on the back there, she's wearing a v-neck. And this is the only v-neck top I have at the moment. So, let's get it out and see if it snaps on. Okay, almost. Scissors. There we go. And here we, here we go. Alright, there's a little strap there. So, what have we got? We've got this shield thing and a sort of watch sort of end which I guess right okay I guess this little watch strap big watch strap even slots into nope slots into this okay nope that's not working okay instructions Oops, I ripped the back of it and the instructions were on the back. So let me just figure this out. Okay. Yep. No, I was right. That's how it works. So, all right, well, let's start with this one first then. What is going on? Okay, I have actually no idea how this attaches. Okay, let's try it on the wrist first. So I guess this goes in. Okay, this is going to be a tricky episode. Alright, I think I've got this. No, no, no. Oh my god. Alright, I'm going to jump cut and try and figure this out, and I'll get back to you. Ta-da! Yes, I got it on. Yes, it is firmly on, and the communicator, it's called, is on my wrist. I got the strap on eventually, and hooray, strap on. <laughs> I got the strap on eventually. And yes, this is quite nifty, actually. It comes with a little piece of plastic, like this ring here, that you put under the shirt here. And then you just sort of snap it onto your shirt there and get it upright. 
and that's how that works. Isn't that? That's kind of cool. But just read the instructions first before you open the box. Yep. Oh god. Hang on. Okay, there we go. That's about as good as I can get it. And uh, you can also put this on your wrist, but I think I've faffed about with it too much. I'm just going to leave it like that. Yes, this communicator and plastic shield. It's actually quite quite cool. Yeah. It's quite fun. Um, it doesn't do anything, doesn't make any noise. It's just rubbery plastic, but it's kind of nifty and it was like uh, $6.99 on Amazon, so why not? Um, obviously, this would look a bit more impressive on a little girl. I am a big woman, so it's kind of small, but yes. Uh, shield, breastplate thing, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't... What is it called? Why am I so stupid? Just called Snap and Wear It Hero, hero Set. Yes. Armor, shield, and communicator. Alright, that's that. <sighs> I'm so crap at these videos. Okay, next up, let's start with... Damn it, you can see. Okay, this is a big, big box. It is a free pack of Superman. Sorry, glare from the camera. Wonder Woman, obviously that's why I bought it. And Alex Luthor. And there's a magazine in this box. Now, I spotted this in a shop called B&M Stores, which if you don't know, is a sort of bargain sort of store that sells food and toys and furniture and... Um, lots of stuff and it's kind of a shop that sells things that other shops haven't been able to sell. It's not quite like Poundland but it's uh, it's a bargain shop and every now and then I do come across something quite cool in it and actually there was another item today that I got there as well on the same day so I, I did wonder if I should buy this or not because obviously I just want the Wonder Woman but it was there and when you see something in B&M stores sometimes you're never gonna see it again so I thought why not so Let's get it open and get this Wonder Woman toy out. And I'm intrigued about the magazine as well. I wonder what that's going to be like. Okay, here we go. Here's the magazine. Justice League. And let's see, is it a comic or a magazine? It's... It's got comic sort of things in it. It's more of a sort of... Uh, it tells you who these people are sort of thing, sort of... A here we go. There's Wonder Woman, an amazing Amazon, and there's the figure that you get. Uh, Princess Diana is Wonder Woman, the greatest warrior woman the Amazons have ever known, and a powerful member of the Justice League. Ooh. Real name, Diana. Occupation, diplomat. Okay. Identity, secret. <laughs> it just says identity, secret. Uh, place of birth, Themyscira. Group affiliation, Justice League. Main enemies, Cheetah, the Firstborn. I, I'm not always, I'm not that great in knowing every comic thing. I'm just more of a live action Wonder Woman fan. I do like the comics. I have seen some of the animated series as well. But I'm more an, ex an expert and uh, more of a fan of the live action Wonder, Wonder Woman. So don't blame me for not knowing who everyone is. Uh, height, 6 foot, weight, 164 pounds. Eyes blue, hair black. So, little facts about Wonder Woman and little sort of comic bits there. There's Ares and Cheetah. All kinds of character profiles and uh, allies and enemies. Just the sleek facts. Yeah, I'll read that in my own time. And, uh, get to know everyone. So, let's get to the figures. So, obviously I just wanted the Wonder Woman, but I'll have a quick look. Oh my god, there's more tape. I'll have a quick look at the other two as well. Oh god, there's even more tape on it. Why? Sorry. At least I'm not coughing. That's Awesome. Right, finally we're in. Okay. How many bloody bits of plastic do you need? There's two! There's fucking two! Bits of 
plastic under in case in more plastic. All right, let's get the Wonder Woman. It's not it's very light. I thought it'd be heavier somehow. Uh, hmm. As you can see, the mouldings on the face aren't the greatest. Uh, I don't know if you can see on camera, but the sort of paint sort of goes into the hair. Paint on a face sort of meshes into a hair, and it's not the. <coughs> Spoke too soon. I am coughing. <clears throat> Is this going to be another fail video? Please, please don't. Please, please. Can I just get through one more video? <clears throat> She's on a stand. Uh, that's fixed to her. Uh, just going to check this out. It's not bad for a free for one you get in a free pack, but it's not the best I've ever seen. But it's quite nice. I like it anyway. Yeah, so that's one the woman. She's got a lasso and her sword. It's the classic Justice League animated Justice League comic Wonder Woman. It's not the Gal Gadot all in the Carter. And the little stand there says DC Comics on it. So that's nice. So let's have a quick look as well at Superman and Lex Luthor. What a strange combination. Superman, Wonder Woman and Lex Luthor. Surely, I mean, should be Batman, Superman and Wonder Woman. And whatever. Okay, here's Lex Luthor, looking all green, and uh, his feels a lot more sturdier, because he, he's got nice thick legs. His feels a lot sturdier than the other two, I think. So there he is, and his Superman, with no underpants on the outside, always good. Yeah, just the basic Superman figure. Again, the facial paint, the face, the face, the, the paint on the face! sort of meshes into his hair. It's not great detail work, but for a free pack, for the price, it was £12.99. Uh, I looked online and they're originally about £25 for the pack. So that's quite a good discount. So for the pack of free, it's not bad. And um, this is adds to my collection and I like it. It's quite nice. All right, next up, the other thing I found at B&M stores was this. DC Comics Designer Series Wonder Woman figure. Yes, this was £7.99, and um, these are usually about 20 25 anything in that range. So yes, this is from B&M stores as well. So let's get her out and check it out. There's more tape! I pre-snipped part of it because I thought that was it, but no, there's more tape. Ugh. One day, one day I'll have the perfect video where I won't cough, everything will be on snipped, I'll uh, understand what everything is, and I'll be able to get everything on properly. But until that day comes, you'll have to cope with me being a bloody idiot. Alright. Oh, and yes, of course there is more bloody things to get her out of. What? How? It's really... Alright, hang on. Almost... Oh my god, the scissors aren't doing it! Right, I've cut into it. Oh my god. I can't get it out. It's so stuck in there. I can't get it out. Alright, that's gonna help. Oh god, there's more. Shit! Was that... I don't think that was supposed to come off. It. I think I broke it. I think I broke part of it. Oh man. Maybe. I don't know. Um. All right. We'll come back to that. That sort of scabbard and sword has come off. Um. It's really tightly packed in here. I don't want to pull it. It might break. Oh god. Now I know why it was discounted. All right. All right. That was easy enough. Yeah, um, right, alright, so here's the figure. I've honestly never seen a Wonder Woman that looked like this before. This is a bit odd to me. Look at her eyes. They are bloodshot. She looks high. And her face is not like any face of a figure I've ever seen before. I've never seen a Wonder Woman that looked like this before. And that's the uh, Justice League comic outfit. Boots, lasso, and uh, 
she has this sort of scabbard on her side. Is it called a scabbard? I don't know what a sheath to put the sword in that I'm not sure was supposed to come off. As you can see, it sort of looks like I've broken it there. So let's. Um. Crap. Yeah, I'm not sure that was supposed to come off like that. Um. Oh no. Oh. I did hear a snap. So it sounded like it should have snapped in like that. So I don't think I broke it, but I don't think it was supposed to do that. So just shove that in. Yeah. Okay. I think it's fine. I think it was supposed to come off, but maybe I just snapped it a bit too much. So that's a basic figure. Uh, designer series. I don't exactly know what that is. Uh, I'm not entirely clued up about all the figures. Uh, Greg Capullo, if anyone knows who that is, fine. Um, yeah. And there's all these others you can get as well. Other characters. So this is a nice looking, slightly odd um, eyes, but it's a good, it's a good solid figure. Um, yeah, good articulation. Um, just an odd looking face, and there goes that again. I might have to get a bit of super glue on that, just to Stop it from coming off again. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> now I know why it was discounted. Okay. So apart from the eyes looking a bit weird, this is a good solid figure. Um, standard height. And I like it. So I have another one that's uh, within this kind of packaging. Uh, it's up there somewhere. That look a bit like this one. So I'm going to put this one next to it. So I like it. I'm not entirely sure what the DC Designer series is, and I've still not, I still don't think her sword should have come off like that. But for a discounted figure, that's quite nice. All right, so that can go down there as well. Uh, I've lost the other piece of her sheath as well. Oh God, today's another fail. I am just. Oh God, I'll find it later. All right, and last up, but not least, God, let this video end. It's something I found on eBay, which I'd never seen before, and I thought it looked interesting. It is a Q Posket. Again, I don't know what a Q Posket is. I've never seen them in the shops. I've only seen this online. And it's got a lot of Chinese writing on it. I don't know if it is Chinese, but it says Made in China on it. So I'm going to assume it's Chinese. Um, don't blame me if I'm wrong. I'm just... I don't know. So, <clears throat> what is a Q-Posket? Well, from what I gathered online, it's just a sort of... They're sort of like Funko Pops, in that they're very stylized looking, and uh, every, everyone's a certain height, and everyone has big eyes. Every every Q-Posket has big eyes, and they're popular in, I guess, China. So, let's get it out and see what it's like. This cost... £10, I think it was exactly. So, on eBay, so... And it's brand new. So, yes, and they do come disassembled and you've got to put them together. So, that was another thing I found out. They all, they all come disassembled. So let's get it out of the packaging. There's a stand. There's a disembodied head. And here's the tiny body. Oh god, she's got a hand off. Alright, oh, this reminds me of that bootleg uh, magnetic one that I got a while ago. Yeah, I think it might be another bootleg item. Something about the uh, writing on it, the Chinese writing on it, just says to me that this might not be an official product. But I don't know, because I don't... It's not articulated either, I just found that out. I don't know much about poskets. I don't know anything about pos Q poskets, so... Who knows? Alright, let's figure out how our arm goes on. Nope. It's alright. Oh, God. I was so looking forward to these items as well. I thought this is going to be a good episode. Got some good looking items, but one I couldn't get on. One is a bit dodgy in the face area. That The designer figure I almost broke. And this one I can't even get the arm on. Oh, there we go. That's how it goes on. So that's the body. Let's get her on the stand. Just snaps on there. Just like that. Nope. What? 
Oh, there we go. Got it. Oh, God. Wrong. I should have put her on the stand first. There. Right, so. Now the head. This will look very top heavy. Look at the little body. Skinny little body. And now, look at the big head. Compared to the little body. This looks very. I'm glad it comes on a stand because this looks very top heavy. Alright, this should be easy. Apparently not. Okay. I thought I was going to stab myself in the eye with the sword then. Alright, that's on. Now get her back on the stand. <sighs> Done. Alright. And here is a Wonder Woman Q Pusket. It feels very top heavy. Uh, I'm glad it's on my stand because that would fall over in a second. Alright. Well, looking at it, it's actually quite good looking. I like it. There's big eyes and she's looking that way. Good look, good little figure. Heavy. The head is very heavy. The rest of it's very light. It's actually quite a nice little item. I like it. I'll have to keep my eye out for more cute poskets in the future. I like it a lot. Uh, it's clean. The paint, it, paint works very good. There's no marks. It's definitely a brand new item. The uh, sword's a little bendy, but I think that's just a regular accessory. Uh, accurate, almost accurate enough shield. So it actually does look a little bit like Gal Gadot. I think, like the pop vinyls, you know, the Funko Pops, they're all sort of similar facially. Every single one sort of looks exactly like the other. But actually, i got to say, I think that does look a little bit like Gal Gadot. What do you think? I actually quite like this a lot. I think this, out of the lot I had today, I think this is my favourite. Mostly because it's, uh, it's actually really well done. And this was easy to get on once I figured out how to do it. But this, oh yeah, definitely my favourite. Definitely going to have to look out for more Q poskets in the future. Alright. I think that's a good place to end it before anything else bad happens. So, shield, Q posket, free pack, eagle moss, that's what it's called, eagle moss figure. And the DC designer, DC Comics designer series figure. Alright. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye!